How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The More You Mow and I am Jay and today I'm bringing you another set of lights that I've been sent to try out. Uh, these are brought to you by Ustellar and these are going to be your RGB IC 6 LED floodlights. So these are Ustellar's new floodlights that they came out with. These are LED floodlights that are RGB IC. They uh, can go white and warm white so that way you can have them match anything that you have going on currently with your home. So if you want to light up different colors for holidays, you can. If you want to just have it as up lighting for your house to give it a little bit more of a different look, you can do that as well. These are waterproof. The total wattage is 40 watts. That's for all the lights together, not just each individual light. But a little bit about these lights. They are um, compatible with your Alexa and your Google Smart Assistant. So you don't have to worry about adding a different uh, outlet or anything in order to make these work. You can just tie them right into what you have currently at your home. These floodlights are rated to IP66 for the waterproof rating. As I said, the color temperature is RGB. Also, they have a warm white. The color temperature for these lights is 2700K. These lights operate from negative 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. Also, one of the nice things about these is you don't have to go and um, run any kind of wire for them. If they come with their own plug that you just plug right into an outlet that you have currently outside, you can also adjust the color for each individual floodlight so you don't have to do them all the same color at once. Another nice thing about these is that they're all strung together so that way you don't have to run wire between each one and each, each light has a cord between it that is about 10 feet long. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside. Come with styrofoam packaging to make sure that the lights stay safe on the inside. You see that each floodlight is individually packed with styrofoam. They also give you a pack of stakes to go in your yard if this is how you choose to mount your lights. They are plastic, it feels like, uh, but they should be pretty durable. I like how they have the spike down at the bottom so that way they should be able to drive into the ground pretty easily. And here's your connector that you plug into your exterior outlet. And of course you get a user manual that comes with it. The lights have a pretty sturdy metal bracket on the side or on the back that you can use for mounting to your wall if need be. You would thread your stake into the hole right here and you just plant these down into your flower bed and shine them up. Or you can mount them directly to your wall. So here you can see all six of the lights taken out of the box and how they look when they sit next to each other. They seem to have a really nice case on them. They seem like they'll keep water out, Some like pretty good quality. Uh, looks like a nice composite plastic that's going around the actual light itself. The hardware itself is metal. Uh, it seems pretty durable and I think it'll do great outside. So let's see how these look now once you plug them in and see how they look when they first get power to them. Okay, so as you see, these are extremely bright. Um, the first color that comes on is red. Uh, I'm not sure what the, oh, they're going through their uh, sequence now where they're blinking because they need to be synced up with the app which we will look at here in a moment. But this is how bright they are as soon as they come out of the box. I'm sure it's not looking as bright on camera as they are in real life, but uh, we'll see them tonight as well and we'll give you kind of a demo as to how they look. In the book, they give you this uh, QR code that you can scan and download the app from, so we'll be doing that right now. So it's called Smart Life, Smart Living app. And then we'll go ahead and install it. This app is available on either your uh, Apple Store or your Google Play Store as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it. Now it's done installing. Three. And we're gonna go ahead and sign up. Afterwards, they will send you a verification code once you set up your email. After once you set up a password. So now we have the app downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and add our device. on lighting, go to the light source and we're gonna go BLE plus Wi-Fi, which is this one. So now we have to reset the lights so that way they get picked up. In order to go ahead and have them resync, you go and uh, unplug and plug three times. Now we have the lights blinking. We're gonna go ahead and choose our Wi-Fi network. So we hit confirm, and it was blinking. 
go ahead and set up with your Wi-Fi. Now it's gonna go ahead and try to connect the device to the Wi-Fi. Once you see this notification right here, it says uh, the smart floodlight has been added successfully, hit done. And soon we should be able to go ahead and adjust what we have. So you see over here, this is your panel with all your different lighting options that you have. So you can go from red over to blue, green, white, red, we got yellow. So you can also click on this right here so that way you get more of a grid style so you can pick different shades that you want. So I mean, you kind of see. different options that you have. So here's your adjustments for your white. So you can make it however bright that you want it to be. And these are all the different features that you can try. So your lights can do all sorts of different tricks and uh, different scenes that you want to set up. So you have dazzle, This is gradient where it changes slowly. You can have it set to music, which is down here. You can have all these different, so here's, so this is how it's set up for when it's catching my voice. So it has all these different colors and you can click on different ones. You've got game, so that's a different setup. And we have romantic. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what romantic does, but these are the different options that you have. And also you can set a timer for them to turn on and off if you so please. So now let's go ahead and uh, bring these outside and see how bright and how they look on the outside. So my plans for these lights is to go ahead and have one light going over here shooting up this side of the house, up this side on this window. I'm gonna have one over here to this column, one here, here, and here. So I'm gonna have all six of these lights pointing, one going up on the side of the house and then lining up the columns in the front. Since I'm going to be adding my um, my lights over here, I'm going to start on this side. I have an outlet right there that's outdoor rated. So I'm going to set my first light down over here with stakes. And then I might have to drill them into the concrete or drill them into the brick to shine up the pillars. So as you can see, I have one place right here, one over here on this corner. And I'm going to go ahead and just roughly lay them out where I need them to go. So that way we can make sure that we have enough length between all of our lights to make sure that uh, we can cover what we need to cover. So for this first light, which is gonna be right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these stakes I've provided. So um, that way I can just put them in the garden bed right here and uh, we'll see how that goes. Since this is the first unit, this is gonna be the one that's gonna have basically your uh, Wi-Fi capability. So you wanna make sure that you have this first one as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible so that we have a good connection. So they give you this bag with supplied hardware, gives you uh, some of these Allen head keys, or Allen head bolts and a key in order to attach these stakes to the back of this bracket. So here's the bolt through the bag, and go ahead and thread in the stake. Get started, finger tight, then tighten down with the Allen key. This one trick, you just hold the Allen key in there and you can twist the stake around, so that we don't have to keep pulling the Allen, head, Allen wrench out. Okay, that's in there pretty secure. So we'll go ahead and install this right over in this area. When you install them, you wanna make sure you put them at an angle so that way any rain or snow that will build up will just slide right off of it. So we have the first light over there. It's lit up in purple right now. And the second light is gonna be shining up on this side. First one's gonna be over here. Let's go ahead and do our third light. For these pillars over here, I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the brick. So you need a masonry bit, and uh, don't use your regular wood bit because you're gonna burn up your bits and that's not necessary. So make sure you have a bit with with an anchor and a good screw. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and mount one right here. So this is a masonry bit that I was recommend using. They're a little bit different than your typical wood bit that you would use. They have this uh, more spaded head and they uh, go through concrete and brick pretty easily. One thing I recommend doing is you get your anchor, setting it next to your bit, seeing what the depth is and putting a piece of tape or mark on this drill bit so that way you know how deep you need to go. Once your hole is drilled, go ahead and put your, put your anchor in and tap it with a hammer. 
Let's go ahead and remove one side. Once you have that out of the way, you can bend the bracket out of the way. And then you can attach and screw in your bracket to your anchor point. Go ahead and bend it back. And your bolt and your nut go back inside. And there you have your other light. So now we're gonna do that on the rest of these columns. So for this one, since we have our gutter here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a screw that is holding the gutter together to go through this bracket and hold it on. So that way it will shine up and I don't have to put any more holes in anything. And uh, I think that should work okay. So here is how they're all attached. So I got an anchor going through in the, in the brick and I got the brackets bolted to that. Same with this third one. I have this one staked down on the bottom. I might eventually end up moving it up so that way it can shine up more, but we'll see how it's set up this tonight when it gets dark. And then I have one here and one on that side. So stay tuned and then uh, I'll give you guys an update tonight and we'll go through all the different light settings. So this is the end result. As you can see, they're very bright. Uh, this is how it looks at nighttime. So I have the two lights that are over by the window off to the right that are right below it. And then I have the other four are drilled into the brick that's right underneath the pillars. So I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how the lights look with different colors. So this is how it looks currently with the white. I really like how it looks. I turn off the porch lights and all the other lights so that way you can get the full effect of how bright they actually are. So this is the white and now we're transferring over to red and blue, green, yellow, back to another red. So there's a bunch of different styles that you can go with. So they have this chase feature, which goes through a bunch of different colors. This here is rainbow, which it just flashes through all the different colors. Uh, the, my phone isn't picking up the colors for as, how rich they actually are. It actually looks really good in person. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with these lights. I wish I had some more to go up on the second floor, so I might have to make a purchase to get some more of these, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is a, a very good product and I'm very happy with it. So, as you can see, there's, as you can see, there's multiple different options you can choose. So you, here's the chase, here's dazzle, They have a, a jump feature where it jumps between different colors. You can, this right here shows you all the different styles you can pick from. So here's red, blue, here's green. So as you can see, the colors are very vivid. Uh, they're very bright. You can have them however bright or as dark as you want. I personally, for my house, for now, I like how the white looks. It looks very clean and it looks bright for what it is. Like I said, I wish I had some more lights for the second floor. That might come in the near future, but I highly recommend these lights. I have no complaints to them at all. I have them hooked up to my Alexa and it's working flawlessly. Again, these are from you, Stellar. Highly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more of this. Um, thanks again for tuning in and hopefully you guys enjoy this product. Take care.